Hello good people, welcome back to Global Hub Things today. Still talking about Amechi, Right Honorable Chibuike wrote to me Amechi presidential ambition, which he has made public today in the stadium. Nigerians have asked a lot of questions. One of the questions is, what is Amechi bringing to the table owing to the fact that he is part of this current administration, which Nigerians are still talking about their failures, especially in the area of security. And Amechi have this to say on why he is contesting for the number one position in the country. We are going to be looking at that in a jiffy. But before we do that, if you've not subscribed to our channel, please do well to hit on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish our videos. Now, according to Amechi, he says that my ambition is not about fulfilling any personal ambition. I'll take that again. He said, my aspiration is not about fulfilling any personal ambition. I am contesting for office because I believe that it is my moral duty to give what I can in the service of my country to sustain and intensify present effort at solving our national problems. Our democracy must ensure emergence of a leadership that is equipped with broad experience in governance to ensure stability and continuity. To sustain our democracy and pre preserve our unity, we need a steady hand and a passion for success in a nation that remains united to pursue prosperity for all Nigerians. It is this combination of experience and patriotic passion that I bring to the table. I have been in political arena for 23 years. I have served at every level of government local, state, and federal. I have served both as a political appointee and an elected officer. I have served both as an executive, as a governor of River State, and as a legislature, as speaker of the State House of Assembly. In this capacity, I did not just fill vacant posts. As a speaker, I managed the legislative process in a difficult transition from military rule. As governor, I defeated mercantile militancy and restored security. As minister, I can modestly claim to have justified the trust of Nigerians. Today, I stand as an aspirant to the position of president because of that same passion for people, that same drive for results. More than ever before, I am burning with the zeal to make a decisive difference in the lives of all Nigerians. No matter the darts and arrow that comes my way, I will remain steadfast because the stakes are too high. We cannot afford to fail. We cannot afford to vie off course. I pledge my heart, mind, and soul to the task of building a Nigeria in which every child can go to school, every young person can find work, or support to start a business. Every citizen can travel safely around the country and sleep at night knowing that law and order prevail and every Nigerian feel included, heard, and respected. The road ahead will be long and odious, but we go forward with faith. Now, these uh, words of Amechi uh, quite interesting, but guess what? Nigerians are not really shocked about a statement like this, considering the fact that um, many other leaders who have been in position of leadership and did not do well say better words than this. But then, what's his capacity? How passionate is he, about, is he when it comes to leading the Nigerian people. We are going to be looking at that, but then let's look at what Nigerians have to say. Someone says here, forward with courage. Congratulations in advance, incoming president of Nigeria. Another person says, congratulations, sir. You got my bag any day, any time, not for my personal gain, but for your selfless service-driven spirit coupled with your experience and exposure in governance. I strongly believe Nigeria would be better positioned in the Committee of Nations in the area of economic growth, job security, 
and youth empowerment, infrastructural development, educational growth and health insurance, security, unity, peace and justice, etc. With you are as our president and commander in chief, which you have demonstrated in the past through your people oriented program and projects in River State. Now one says, Let's go, sir. Some trust in their chariots, structures and riches. We trust in God for promotion. Come from him alone. The Lord will give you victory. We are not looking for promotion. Someone should not come and boast of promotion. What we are looking for is someone who can change the narrative of Nigeria. Now, one of the things noted in his, you know, write-up or in, call it, why I am contesting speech, he said something here which I feel should Nigerians, uh, that should be an ideal way of speaking you know, to Nigerians who have gone through so much. He said that he believed that it is his moral duty to give what I can in the service of my country, what I can. In other words, there are things I can do. And if you give me opportunity, I'll do those things. He did not give us some very verbose or very lofty dreams. Some, when they gave them opportunity, built <laughs> skyscrapers in the air, you know, build castles in the air, elephant project here and there, but they didn't do anything. But here, Amechi is telling Nigerians what I can do to the service, what I can do to in service of my country is what he will take up as his duty. You know, that sounds a little bit uh, realizable because some people will give you, I will, I, 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 I will eat Boko Haram and they will not exist again. I, 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 will, I will speak words and everybody will bow. I still remember when um, the current administration came on board, uh, um, the Tinibu, how he boasted about it, talked about France, that when France was in trouble, what did they go for? Everybody shouted, General. Uh, when London, uh, Britain has issues, who did they go to? The General. And Nigeria also is going for the General. All that security problem will be over. But today, it's a different ball game. I'll leave it there. You know, and uh, I want you to go to our comment session. How much do we believe that Amechi will perform? Nigerians, already he's been known for uh, his uh, antecedent. You know, he's never really failed in terms of performing his duty. And if given the whole right to do what he's supposed to do, I, I feel he has the capacity. And apart from that, you know, considering the fact that South are the people to man that position in APC, do you see it coming to Amechi, knowing very well that there are other top contenders in the person of the leader, of national leader of APC, talking about uh, Bola Ahmed Tinibu. We have other key personalities. Dave Umayi is also there. We have Rochas Okorocha. There are many, you know. Do you think Amechi has a chance of grabbing the ticket or presidential, uh, presidential ticket? Come to the